NASA and SpaceX are often seen disagreeing on several decisions, and normally these disagreements take no time to turn into agreements. But this time, NASA went a step further by denying SpaceX from launching its new ship into space. Today's video is going to be an interesting one as we are going to discuss the very recent controversy that has risen over the launch decision of SpaceX's new Starship. What's the story behind NASA's denial? Why did NASA do that? And is SpaceX really in trouble? Let's find that out. While SpaceX is all set to send its crewed rocket into space, NASA has denied it. The concerns of NASA are reasonable, but the inconvenience it's causing SpaceX is also real. As we all know, SpaceX is a private and independent manufacturing firm that builds rockets, whereas NASA is an American government agency that looks over the matter regarding outer space. Both these agencies are independent in their workings, but when it comes to launching the spacecraft that SpaceX has built, then it needs the help of NASA to use its launch pad and put its rockets into space. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon, go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug! Previously, NASA has been very cooperating and accommodating towards SpaceX. Everyone appreciates the work that was happening under their roof, which no doubt is phenomenal. However, sometimes the founder Elon Musk and his passion project become a problem for NASA. You see, NASA has its launch pad, which SpaceX needs to launch the ships, and NASA didn't provide them access to test their earlier prototypes of the Starships, which unfortunately failed, and a lot of damage occurred at the launch sites. NASA owns a launch pad at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. There's quite a few launch pads at the site. However, the one that's authorized to send the crewed spacecraft is only one, and that is Launch Pad 39A. This time, NASA is looking forward to sending its astronauts into space by onboarding them over SpaceX's Starship. But before NASA does that, it is asking to provide proof that the launch sequence will not expose the infrastructure of the launch pad to any sort of risk or damage like it did before. SpaceX is fixed on launching on their schedule, but NASA is not allowing that. The only concern that NASA currently has is the safety of the launch pad's infrastructure, as we already know from NASA's space operations chief who said, We all recognize that if you had an early failure, like we did on one of the early SpaceX flights, it would be pretty devastating to 39A. The statement proves that NASA doesn't have any sort of problem with SpaceX or its launches, in fact, they want SpaceX to be successful and use their spacecraft to send their crew to the International Space Station. However, SpaceX needs to provide some surety before NASA can allow the launch. SpaceX's Starship is a next-generation rocket that's right now in its testing phases. However, this passion project of Elon is aimed at sending humans to Earth's orbit. And the later upgrades of the spacecraft will be able to take humans on lunar trips and even to Mars. When is that going to happen? Obviously, it's a long way to go. SpaceX was already suspicious of the regulations and delaying approvals that they might have to face to launch their Starship. So to avoid that inconvenience, especially during the initial testing phases, they developed their own test launch site at their facility in Boca Chica, Texas. Though they have built it, still the site is under review before it can be used by SpaceX. Even at the Florida launch site, SpaceX has spent some hefty bucks in building their launch pad named Launch Complex 40, which got approved for testing. However, the approvals for using Launch Pad 40 to send humans into space are still under processing. Then again, SpaceX will have to use NASA's launch pad in Cape Canaveral, Florida to launch their spacecraft. You must be thinking, NASA cannot deny access without any solid grounds, right? Yes, that's true. And the reason they state is, one, the damage to 39A's infrastructure, and secondly, it's the mixture of fuel used by SpaceX in their Starship, which is new for NASA. The thing is, SpaceX uses liquid oxygen and nitrogen as fuel for its rocket launches, and the problem is that both NASA and the concerned regulators are not very well versed in this combination. As such ambitious projects always carry an element of mishap, and in that anticipation, scientists project the damage that can occur based on the fuel used. Now NASA doesn't understand the damage that a mishap during the launch can cause, and that's why they're asking SpaceX to prove that the fuel combination will not cause much damage. Countering the restrictions from NASA, SpaceX even proposed hardening the launch pad 
so they can proceed with the launch. Regulations once again stop them from doing that until the approvals can come in. Basically, SpaceX at this point is at the mercy of NASA before they can do anything. The goal of launching the spacecraft on their schedule is already gone, because before any of the approvals come in, it will already be too late. I don't know whether SpaceX itself cannot say with certainty the damage its fuel can cause to the site, or it just doesn't want to work on that. The current situation is that the launch is delayed, and where NASA is asking SpaceX for damage assessment, SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk has other plans. SpaceX tried to get its own site approved back in Texas for orbital launches, though the license was denied by the FAA. So now SpaceX is trying to double down on the 39A launch site and construction is underway to build a launch pad dedicated to SpaceX's Starships only. Elon Musk looks keener towards getting the approval for their own site and launching the new Starship mission from there. I think that's a great idea because the launch has already been delayed due to the issues by NASA over using 39A. So why not wait a bit longer and get a dedicated launch pad for their starships at the Kennedy Center? I mean, if that happens, it's going to be huge for SpaceX. Next time, they won't have to go through all the hassle of getting the approvals to launch. So surely, NASA has caused a lot of trouble for SpaceX, but this time Elon is all set to get rid of the issues once and for all. We all know that Musk wants to get to Mars, but not just get there and come back home. He wants to create a sustainable civilization on the Red Planet. His company, SpaceX, has already done big progress towards the mission. They already managed to deliver more than 1,600 satellites to the orbit. That's more than any nation or organization has ever achieved. While Falcon 9 launch puts up only 53 Starlink version 1.5 satellites, the Starship can potentially carry as much as 400 at a time. This is why Elon Musk desperately needs to launch the Starship. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.